Hi guys and welcome to another Doobie theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com Well we've got a little hover effect for you today. We've got a regular Divi gallery here and we've just added a little grow and box shadow effect when you hover over your little gallery image and of course if you click on the icon it's going to pop out into the usual light box there. And that's a nice little eye catching thing to have on your gallery. Really easy to do. We've got to write a little bit of CSS to use this today but don't let that put you off. Any CSS I write I'll put down below the video and you're welcome to use it, manipulate it how you wish. Okay well let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down and we'll start from scratch. I've got a section here, the blue tab with a row, the green tab it's got my gallery in it, there's only one column. I'm going to go ahead and delete the gallery module and we'll start from scratch. So let's add a new gallery module to my row. Divi comes as standard with all these modules, plenty enough to build just about any website. If you've got WooCommerce installed, it also gives you another dozen or so of these modules. Here's a little gallery module. First thing it's going to prompt us to do is add some images. So I'm going to select, I guess, about eight images. I guess I'll do the same as I did before and select those. And with the gallery module, if you want to move things around, just simply left click on them, pull them to where you want them and release the left mouse button. Simple as that. Now, I don't want a uh, text in there. So if we roll down a little bit, Image order, I'm going to leave as it is the default. Image count, I've got eight of them, so I may as well have eight of them show up there. And like I say, I don't want any text and I don't want any pagination. So if we go to the elements down below, you can turn the title and caption off and turn pagination off. There isn't actually any there because we've only got eight images and they're showing all eight of them. Had we had four showing, it would have shown uh, one down the bottom to go to the next page. Okay, I don't particularly want to link this anywhere and I'm not going to put a background in. So design wise, let's go over to our design. The only thing that I really want to do here is get rid of that overlay color there and perhaps change the color of the icon. If we look at the layout at the top here, it's grid layout, which is what we want. Thumbnail orientation is landscape, which is what we want there also. Now here's the overlay down below overlay icon color I'm going to make that white as you can see there it is right there and I'm going to make that background color of the actual overlay transparent there we go so we've just basically got the icon when we hover over that and you can choose whatever icon you like here what have we got we've got a plus that'll work for me because it's it's going to pop out into a light box so that plus is pretty good or there's plenty of others you can use like perhaps a magnifying glass with a plus that's entirely up to you okay that's pretty much all we need to do uh, in the main elements there let's now pop over to our advanced and we'll start writing some CSS and I'll zoom in when I do this and we want to put it in the actual image element itself which is the gallery item right here so the first thing I want to do is we only really want this to happen, this code that we're writing now, we want to happen when we're hovering over it. So common to most Divi modules, if you hover over the dark writing here, some icons will appear. If there's an arrow there, click on it. And it'll give you a desktop state when your mouse is not on it and a hover state when your mouse is on it. So we want to write it into the hover state because that's when we want to see what we're about to write. So the first thing I want to do is make it grow a little bit when we hover on it. So we'll use a bit of transform scale for that. Colon, scale, no gap, and open and close some round brackets. And inside you can scale it up the amount you want. I'm going to scale it up so 1.1, 1.1 times the size. And if you wanted to do different for width and height, you could put a comma in there and put a second value in, but I want mine to uh, expand by 1% or 0 0.1 width and height. Okay, that's good. What else do we want? Let's put a semicolon in there. We'll drop down. And let's actually 
bring it up a bit as well. We scaled it up a little bit, so let's make it sort of jump by 10 pixels or so. We can do that with some negative margins. So we'll say margin, top, colon, and negative 10 pixels. You should see the whole thing jump up slightly there. Now remember, this is only going to happen to the ones you're hovering on, so don't worry about all of them moving there. That's fine. All right, and perhaps let's have a bit of box shadow underneath uh, just to make it stand out a little bit more from the others. So again, let's drop down. We'll say box dash shadow. Now, I don't want it any left and right, so I'm going to put a zero in. Now, top to bottom, I want it to be sort of down by 10 pixels or so, so I'm going to put 10 pixels. And you can put a color in if you want. As you can see, we've got a solid color there. If you were to put, say, blue or whatever color you wanted to put in there, you could have that color if you wanted. But I want mine as more of a shadow. So I'm going to take that color away. And I'm just going to give it a bit of spread with the generic gray that it's got there. And I'm going to give it a spread of 10 pixels also. And you'll see it turns into more what looks more like a box shadow there. And that's a nice little effect. Put our little semicolon in there. OK, so we've got this when we're not hovering over it and this when we are. And remember, this will only affect each individual item. It's doing all of them at once purely because we're in edit mode here. Now, how long do we actually want it to take to go from this to this? Because if we don't tell it how long to take, it's going to do it instantly. So you're just going to click on it and it's going to be straight there like that. I like to slow it down a bit for bit of drama just makes things look a bit better so in the regular state not the hover state regular state we can use transition duration colon and give it the time that you want I'm going to give mine half a second 0.5 s semicolon and that'll slow it down nicely and we should be good to go there now I can hear some of you almost asking right now why don't we just do that with the regular transition duration that they've got? So if we get out of the CSS here, we go down to transitions. They've got transitions here and you can put your own transition duration in. But because we're actually using the CSS, custom CSS here with our code, that's not going to work. So that's the reason we're writing it in there on the desktop state. So we should be good to go. Let's save our changes here. Save our page changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. And there's our little gallery. And when we hover over, it's going to grow. It's going to add the box shadow. And when we click on it, it's going to pop out into the light box right there. And that's a really nice and easy to do gallery effect. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.